हेलो डॉक्टर सुसीन वेलकम टू द हेल्थ साइट हेलो हेलो सो डॉक्टर एज वी नो दैट द इंटरनेशनल वीक फॉर द डेफ हैज स्टार्टेड सो व्हाट ट्रीटमेंट्स कैन बी गिवन एंड वी नो दैट सर्टेन मशीन्स हैव आल्सो बीन देयर इन इंडिया और और इन अदर कंट्रीज टू सो व्हाट ट्रीटमेंट्स इज एग्जैक्टली देयर फॉर सच पीपल ए आई लाइक टू हाईलाइट एट दिस पॉइंट दैट hearing is one of the senses it when lost we have a very good chance to treat it when identified and recognized early a lot of uh, patients with deafness may not have to suffer from deafness they need to understand that they need to approach the clinician deafness can be of different types sometimes deafness can be what is called as conductive sometimes it can be what is called as sensory neural the first step to treating deafness is establishing a diagnosis this can be done through simple tests in the case of adults we have a simple test called an audiogram which can establish the nature and the quantum of deafness in younger children that are you know suspected to be born deaf there are lot of children in india that are born deaf so we have more advanced <laughs> tests called abr or the auditory brain stem response audiometry so there are various tests through which we can establish the the amount of deafness and appropriate treatment as you mentioned in the form of you know either surgery in in, in a lot of situations or hearing aids or hearing restoration implants or sometimes the the high end cochlear implant devices can also be implanted to uh, restore uh, hearing to the deaf people all right dr so the, my main concern is what are the main causes or what main factors can affect our ear or ear drums which can cause to hearing uh, loss or which can lead to deafness so deafness uh, can be congenital or acquired congenital as in the the child is born deaf this could be either what we call a syndromic or non syndromic the child can have a lot of other anomalies apart from uh, a problem in hearing such as heart issues or kidney issues and other things these are called as syndromic hearing losses or the child can have hearing loss in isolation so when the child you know after birth does not uh, reach the, the expected milestones this is when we start expecting the other acquired forms of hearing loss could be because of common ear infections you know ear infections leading to a rupture of the eardrum or a perforation of the eardrum sometimes some infections growing into the uh, middle ear cavity called as cholesteatoma or sometimes there can be what we call as a fixation of the bones of hearing which does, which does not allow the conduction of sound to happen broad categories of uh, hearing issues to which appropriate solutions can be sought uh, so doctor you mentioned acquired uh, hearing loss so in that you were you were talking about ruptured ear drum so what are the symptoms that we come to know that your ear drum is ruptured what what problems so what are, do we face yes there can be inadvertent injury to the ear drum such as uh, you know someone is uh, trying to fiddle with the ear with a bird or with a sharp instrument just and then you know you end up applying excessive pressure and there mm-hmm. can be uh, a, a rupture in the ear drum when there is a rupture of the ear drum usually there is uh, uh, the a small amount of bleeding or sometimes more amount of bleeding which is noticed along with a kind of an echo sound the patient usually say there is an echo sound coming from the ear and their ability or the acuity of hearing has come down that is when they come to you either with a bleeding ear or with a uh, ear with decreased hearing so doctor do you think surgery hmm. is the only option if we are facing a problem with our ear drum if it if it has become ruptured no so what happens is that these these uh, ear drums which rupture because of some uh, you know inadvertent injury to the ear drum they can be treated medically and we usually wait for up to 3 months because in about uh, 90% 90 to 95% of the patients the healing can happen spontaneously with just supportive treatments and uh, medications so not all ruptured eardrums need surgery so we could definitely have an option of clearing the problem conservatively okay doctor thank you so much that was really informative thank you so much talking to us